Bogut says mass shutdowns are needed to stop the coronavirus spread. Man's got no medical background whatsoever, but we all need to listen to Bill Gates, right? Can't, can't get out of lockdown until we get a vaccine. It, it is fair to say things won't go back to truly normal until we have a vaccine that we've gotten out to basically the entire world. Well, as I mentioned briefly earlier, this investigation by this dude named Tim Schwab, shout out to whoever you may be, you did a very good investigation here, shows that Bill Gates, through the Gates Foundation, has major conflicts of interest with all the big pharmaceutical companies because he, he owns investments, he owns stocks in these companies. He also gives them charitable donations, which are tax-free. <laughs> I'm somebody who's good with words, and this kind of shit, it leaves me speechless. Now, yeah, you can see all of these companies, they own stocks in. And over here, up to $2 billion in tax-deductible charitable donations were given from the Gates Foundation to for-profit businesses, including companies in which the foundation holds investments, such as the GlaxoSmithKline. Mind-blowing, guys. And in the investigation, it shows that the so-called charitable grants, they actually have been more of an investment because he has made more money in return. Okay? He's not just giving his money away, guys. In fact, Bill Gates in the past 10 years alone has almost doubled his net worth. Think about that. So when the Microsoft co-founder tried to tell us that Bill Gates is a ruthless schemer, he was not lying. And don't get me wrong, he's got the perfect appearance, guys. Very innocuous appearance, non-threatening, doesn't seem like he could harm a fly. But that is precisely how the proverbial wolf in sheep's clothing operates throughout history, guys. That's what they do. They want to provide you with this non-threatening uh, image and appearance because they know people blindly believe in surface appearances. All right, that's how the fox gets access to the hen house. We have to become wise to their methodology. And then just to illustrate my point quickly, because I know there's some people that are going to just desperately cling to this perception that Bill Gates is this great hero, is this great humanitarian who's concerned with public health. Right? That's the ticket that he rides on, public health. But somebody who is genuinely concerned with public health, would they really have massive investments with over $250 million in the Coca-Cola company? The Coca-Cola company, that same Coca-Cola company, which I showed you earlier, has a history of manipulating science through very dodgy tactics and through uh, front groups and have been directly implicated in the obesity epidemic, guys, particularly most recently in China. All right, directly implicated in the obesity epidemic. In addition to them, the Gates Foundation also has huge investments in Arcos Dorados Holdings. What is that? That's the parent company of McDonald's, which also is directly implicated in the obesity epidemic because fast food and obesity go hand in hand, guys, as numerous studies have shown. So somebody who claims to be a public health defender, how can they in good conscience be supporting and working with and having partnerships with companies that are directly implicated in the obesity epidemic? And like I said earlier, obesity currently kills around an estimated 4 million people every single year. Just think logically, guys. Right? Either he is ignorant about this, or he is being deceptive about this. Both of which are inexcusable. Completely. And then beyond that, just from an ethical standpoint, you look at all of these different companies that he has, that he's also working in partnership with, or he has investments in, right? These big pharma companies, GlaxoSmithKline, which was caught experimenting on innocent civilians, also a terrible long history, well-documented history of bribery. Then we have Janssen Vaccines, from uh, the sub it's a subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson. Johnson & Johnson got caught uh, covering up how their baby powder was causing cancer, guys. They were also implicated in the opioid epidemic, and they also have a history of bribery. Then we have Merck & Company, publishing a fake scientific journal. Right? It's just, uh, there's no limit yet to, to the... Insanity. Takeda Pharmaceuticals, also covering up how uh, one of their products caused bladder cancer. Pfizer, also experimenting on innocent civilians to the point where 11 or 12 of them died. Children in Nigeria. How can you as a humanitarian, through your foundation, know this, work with these dodgy companies? And if you look into it, he has worked with these companies whilst they have engaged in some of those uh, horrible 
corrupt practices. It's, it's just, it's not logical, guys. Look at reality. I know the media is very convincing and he's got this great image, but look beyond the image and look at actual reality.